Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us here on the channel. Where we always try and have a little bit of outboard fun. Now, in part uno of this video series, um, we had a little victim in here that's been a victim of outboard abuse. Well, we got it to start, but um, it didn't like it. It was whining about getting woke up. It wanted to stay asleep. So it's whining, and we got to figure out what that is, because I don't know. And it so broke up. Um, that if there's so much broken on it if you watch the last video if that whining's coming from the power head then it's just going to be a parts motor I'll part it out however I think the first step I'm going to do is drop this lower unit on it and let's see if we'll drop the lower unit restart it and uh, see if the whining is still present or if it maybe is in the lower unit and uh, so that's what we're going to do so I say let's get to it okay popping this lower off um, you can see how white and powdery the center bolt is that holds the lower unit on. On the salt water 9915 outboards, OMCs, it's always the center bolt that's going to cause you problems. And this one, it, it backed out. These, the, these two are rarely the the forward and back one are rarely the problem it's always that center one that'll that'll give you a headache getting it apart and there is a a, a way to do it without snapping them off and i'm going to show you that you can see all that white powdery yuck okay you can try a torch heat them up and that may or may not work and if you do snap one off, it's not a big deal because there's going to be enough there, generally, for you to get get it out even if it, the head of it snaps off. Alright, so what you do... Put it up, I'll be right there. I don't know how well it's going to show up, that's why. Okay, this one snapped off right there. So once I get the lower unit off, I'll have enough to grab with via scripts and I'll be able to drill holes straight down alongside the actual broken bolt and, and take it out that way. This one came out just fine. This one, see all the white powdery salt and everything, was wanting to break off. I could tell that if I gave it a little more with the wrench, it was gonna snap. So what I did was took a small drill bit and drilled a hole there and drilled a hole there. Um, and then I squirted lubricant in both of those holes. And this ain't a one of these, you gotta let soak all night deal. You drill the holes, squirt in with your little plastic straw, squirt it in the, the holes, with your little straw. So you need to make your holes big enough for this little straw to go in. Then just turn it like an eighth of an inch. Do it again. 
then go back like you're tightening it. Squirt a little bit more. Quarter turn, couple squirts, quarter turn, couple squirts, and, and you're gonna be good to go. It's gonna come out. And that way you don't have to drill the holes down this way and get it out. But there's your hack for getting them salty uh, center. It's, it's always the center bolts. This one, I mean, sometimes it's these outer ones, but it's generally always this, the center one on each side, and you just drill you a couple holes, squirt your stuff, you saw it. So um, that's how you get that off. And then let's see how tight this one's going to be. Ow. Wait. Uh. Oh, yeah. But I got some room to work in there, I think. So let me get a couple. Okay, I'm going to take some regular screwdrivers and my hammer. On this side, it looks like I can see a little bit of a, a crack in there. So, we're going to just... And where that one bolt broke off... That's going to kind of be a, you know, that's going to kind of hold it on there. Don't do, don't go aping on it real bad. There it comes. Okay, now that we got an opening, I'll get a big screwdriver. Hang on, I got somebody pulling up. Say hi. Hey. Look at that machine, would you? Look, I think I'm zoomed in. No, I ain't. It's a three-wheeler. Yeah, three-wheeler. Two front wheels. Isn't that cool? And a rear wheel. A Easyo. However you want to pronounce it. Pazuzio, something like that. There it comes. So. Okay, once you get it that far apart, about an inch or so, you can come in here and there's a 3 8 inch bolt right there. It also typically has a screwdriver slot, but most of the time you'll need a zipper gun to get it apart, or at least start it. And like I said, a lot of you guys already know this, but for people just joining us, I got my thumb right there, so it's kind of pinching me. And there's your 3 8 And there's a, one of these little star washers, or whatever they call them. And that should be all there is to get it apart. So, now you can see this broken off stud here. I'll show you.
if it's real stubborn, I take a drill bit and go down this way, straight down, on either side of this stainless bolt. Then I squirt the lube in there, but you can also do it just like I showed you earlier, drill a hole here, drill a hole here, and then take the vice grips and get it that way. Either way, it, it is fine. They'll come out both ways. So, let me get a couple things. I'll be back. Now, when you're drilling your holes in the side here, you'll see that there's big aluminum flakes that'll be coming out of this. And then they'll, they'll all of a sudden stop. When the big flakes of aluminum quit coming out of your drill, you're up against the stainless bolt. I'll show you right here. Well, I will attempt to show you right here. Okay. Watch the flakes. See them big flakes? And when they stop, you're up against the stainless. And you can see there really ain't no big flakes coming out of there no more, so I'm up against the stainless. Okay, then you take, I like to use these type of vice grips that got a long row of teeth on there. Okay, then we're going to take some penetrating oil and you put it in, in there. And you, you really shouldn't have to use heat to do this. Okay, get some good teeth on there. and then start working it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Once you go a little bit, a little more penetrating oil. Okay. Back and forth and back and forth. That's plenty loose now. I can I can just spin that out of there off of the end of it, I'm sure. And that's how you get those out when they... And you're still going to have plenty of thread left when you put your new bolt back in. So, I've done this before on my channel, but I thought... It'd be a good refresher. Couple little holes. Drill until you see the big flake stop. Squirt in the petroleonis lubricating, penetrating. Back and forth, back and forth until you get a couple turns. Take it out. There you go. Now we can put this over there. Start it again and see if the incessant whining is gone. I'll be back. Oh, there's you an old school Briggs and Stratton log splitter. Quite the beast of a log splitter, in fact. Oh, and over there on the bench, you see the chainsaw. Well, you see a chainsaw case. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh, I'm so tired. Well, now. We all know what it means when I wear the hat. Let's look. Well, there they are. Now. Look at that little cutie right there. Ooh, ooh. And then the one right beside it. That's an actual... Real. Kaifen, 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 Kaif
right there, because he's a Pfeiffer Mercury. And there's another little cutie. Then we got a 35, and then squished over in there is a little four horse. And I'm not sure what that one on the end is, but look, but look. Oops. 25. Oh, excuse me, that's not a four horse. It's a four print O. Yeah. It's Christmas in September. Yes, sir. My good buddy Charlie brought me those. He goes all over the state. His business, he, he runs a business, and uh, it takes him literally, well, I say all over the state, all over the world. But he got these over in Cordova, Alaska. You have to look on the Google Earth, the Google map. But yeah, those, these all came. He brought these back for me from Cordova. We get them squared away. There's some cuties in there. Kafifa Pfeiffer, Kafif and Funger, Kafif and Younger, Lunger. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we get if we can get her going. Sounds good. So, this guy is a little whiny. He's a little whiner. He whines. Yeah. So, let me get it out my spot on my bench table over there, cleared off. We're going to pop them drain screws out of there and see what we got. We'll go ahead and pop that uh, water pump housing off and look at that impeller. I'll be back. This impact driver good whack there and 
Now, if you've never used one of these before, you're pushing down and turning to loosen at the same time. So I'm, I'm trying to loosen it. All right, let's see what we get coming out of this thing. Well, it's got oil in it. Um, not the worst I've ever seen, that's for sure. Mm. It smells a little funky. Oh yeah, boy, something. Tighten that thing. Right. I don't know why she's all. Oh, you can hear it almost. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm going to let that drain for a little bit and go ahead and get these. Uh, water pump housing bolts zipped out of there. I'll be right back. The impeller looks fantastic, really. I mean, hardly any memory set, so... Definitely not the worst I've ever seen. Hmm. Interesting. neutral oh. if I can get it to a place where I can spin it but still draining out a little bit but I guess I can the oil really don't look that bad okay I did find a couple things with this lower unit um, but there's something down in there in this center cavity I can't reach it so I had to get my long there's something in there I can see it it's white whatever it is if I can get it what the heck Okay, I'm not making this up, people. Get a flashlight. I've come across some weird crap, but never this. This is a first. You're seeing a first. I've had outboards with everything in them. Sorry about my neighbor's dogs. We all have that one neighbor, you know, they're it, unfortunately. Wow. Well, that's it now. I'm <laughs> I am not making this up, people. That is a cow. 
that is a plastic toy cow. And that is a sheep, a plastic toy sheep. That were in this chamber back here. Which I don't suppose would have hurt anything. <laughs> Complete with udders and everything. That's <laughs> damn. I've I've seen it all. How many people can say they've taken apart an outboard and found a sheep <laughs> and a cow in the outboard? I can say it. Okay, this is a different lower unit. I went out there and got it so I could show you something. Okay, you see right here, up under the metal plate that would go on the bottom of the water pump housing, there's that metal plate that goes there. You see this cut out here? And then the rest of it is completely round. It's just a round wall. Now here's the, the whiny outboard. You see how it's all broke away? The wall's gone, and it's just corroded there. Now, obviously this thing, you know, it cooled pretty good. Um, there is a workaround for this, um, but it, it's just badly eaten up. The wall's missing on the side here, right there, and it's missing in the front. And it's supposed to be missing in the back, but just not that bad. But this has the walls gone right here, and the walls gone right here. But it was pumping water pretty good. But so I found that in addition to the cow and the sheep. So, um, but you can see on this lower unit, the good one, the wall is on the side and in the front and makes a complete circle. So this one's all corroded and eaten up. So. Interesting. Now look at that for a rainbow. Ready? There's actually, if you look just to the left, there's two of them. It's a double rainbow. But boy, you can see the whole arch on that one. There, if you look to the right, you can see more, more rainbow. It, well, that's pretty intense right there where the pot of gold is. Somewhere over that rainbow. That's pretty. Well, there we have it. We have a good um, powerhead on this ugly duckling 15. But everything else on it is so busted up and missing and all. What I think I'm do, going to do with it and where I'm leaning is I've got several other 15 um, outboards that are more complete. I think it would be easier for me to just swap the power head onto a unit that has an overall better um, transom bracket, lower unit, and so forth. And I think I have at least two that are complete with seized power heads that I could do that with. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. Um, not 100% yet. I'm going to have to 
reason with the outboard guards about that question. But I think that's where I'm, I'm leaning toward that way. I'm, I'm looking at two right here that uh, they're in a lot better shape. So, and then if that's the route I go, I will do a, you know, once I got the power head off, I'll pop the inner exhaust tube off and we'll take a look at those grommets. Even though this thing was cooling, uh, the power head was cooling itself, if I pull a power head, I'm going to at least trim those grommets and look at them and make sure they're in pristine condition before I put it back on. So that's kind of where I'm leaning. But I imagine this one's getting a little bit long, so that'll be in the next video. Unless. As you know, you never know, ever, never, ever know what's going to come in this little shop. So, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are a coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.